So we're done making our humble little blog, and I think it'll work for any niche that you choose or niche because it's so simple. And it's cool how you can see everything from the logo to the footer on one screen and get a lot of information across right here above the fold. So now it's time to move on and set up Google Analytics so that you can look at a nice traffic curve like we saw in the introduction. So we're gonna drag in our stopwatch again, which I know some of you won't like, but I hope it helps, um, and show you how we're gonna set up Google Analytics in under three minutes, or about as much time as it takes to feed your pet. So I think this will help us in the corner. I hope so, because we have to get through Google AdSense and online marketing after. All right, so let's begin. So to get started with Google Analytics, I'm just gonna open a new tab because I'm already logged in in the other one, and I'll show you the steps. So you can just Google Analytics, and then Google Analytics will come up. It's the first one, google.com slash analytics. You're gonna see their website here, which is beautiful in its own right. They help a lot of small businesses. And just click sign in in the upper right and choose analytics. Like almost all of Google's products, this one is free. You just need to have a Gmail or create an account with Google and then follow the steps and they'll help you get set up, set up and tell you if you have data already or if you're gonna start brand new. All that, they'll help you get set up easily. So what do those steps look like to insert Google Analytics on a website though? Well, we can check out my analytics. Again, google.com slash analytics. Sign in, click analytics. And so this is what it'll look like when you set up your account. I have some users showing up at my sites and a lot of new users, that's good, new sessions. And so what I wanna do now is just go down and click admin, click the gear choose an account so i've set up analytics for a lot of different accounts and clients and create new account all right and then tell google analytics about your site so this is what you'll be doing exactly select an industry category this is always tough for us teachers because it's like a combination of education and internet um, okay remove the http and then come down and leave these checked if you want to get Google services, it's recommended. And click Get Tracking ID. Then click I Accept. And now you're going to get your own custom piece of Google code. So click once right here in the website tracking box and copy. Now come back to our blog, click to the dashboard, and you're going to be pretty happy that you have your WP Insert Code plugin installed because we can just click that and then make some space beneath our uh, code from Facebook and just paste it in. And then it'll start working. It's in the right place now on your WordPress website. All right, and then just needs like a couple spaces right there, that's fine. Save changes. Now when you come back to analytics, we can uh, verify that it's in there. So we're done here within Google Analytics. Just click back to property settings, scroll down and click save. All right, and now we're gonna to go to another Google website, which is called Webmaster Central. So just look that up, click the first link, sign in, and you're gonna to wanna to click add a property right here in the upper right, and then type in the website again, not the Google Analytics code, just your website. Okay, so copy paste and click add and this is going to add your website to all of Google's like data tracking and blog tracking and website tracking and so it's going to say recommended method to verify your ownership is Google Analytics we've already done that so we'll click verify cross our fingers and congratulations it worked all right so Google Analytics is now confirmed in our website they know you're there they're going to start tracking anyone who visits your blog or website so click continue and if you have any questions about exploring the tools here, let me know. You don't need to. You really want to spend most of your time in analytics over here because they have all this rich data and it just looks beautiful. One thing I like clicking is on behavior and site content and then all pages because this lets you see exactly which pages and posts are getting the most traffic. 
The third and final step you can do is just submit your URL directly to the Google search engines. And you can literally just Google submit my URL to Google. And I think we're going to get a third and final tool, which is the submit URL Google. Open that and then just, you know, paste in your website link. Check that you're not a robot. And this is like a hard submit. All right. So this is like going to tell them even quicker. It's like a third reminder. And now you're officially in there. Your website is like in Google's uh, line of processing. All right. So that'll get done. You don't need to do anything else. And we're good. You now have Google Analytics working perfectly. All right. So we went a little over there again. I'm just going to owe you guys a bunch of Greg's time here by the end. But I hope you enjoyed those couple extra steps to make sure that Google Analytics is working.